Whoa. Hello friends, good afternoon. Today I'll be doing a video on this estate hall that we had last week. And I am really excited. <laughs> wow, I'm excited. So let me put these boxes down and uh, we'll start one by one. Get this thing going because there's some nice things in here. Okay. Let's get her done. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so we got tracks. Tricky tracks. And we got lots of tracks. Um, man, lots of left hand, right hand turnouts. Look at that. Man, that's going to be good because we're going to use it for the layouts that we are going to refurbish, remodel, restore. What else do we have here? A couple of power packs. One of them's from Tyco, which I've never seen. And another one from Thunderline, AHM. So they had their version of these power packs. We don't use these anymore. Um, we could use them for accessories. Um, but that's about it. I like using something with a meter. I want to know what's going on with that train. So that's a big hit right here. The turnouts, big time. Pretty close to, if you had to buy them brand new, over $200 worth of worth of turnouts so i'm happy about that this one has left curves right curves the re-railers and straights so and all of it's in brass looks like most of it's from atlas but some of it might be from ahm lifelike and whatnot hang on get that out of the way all right, let's see what else we have here. Man, these boxes are falling apart. What is this? Oh, man, look at this. This is an HO house of something. It's like a house that's on fire. So it's got its electrical things here going to be interesting to see what this actually does so this is going to be nice to set up it is complete i don't think it's missing anything put a couple of old car or fire trucks there and we got ourselves a fire scene this one here belongs to something else maybe or to the side of the house here oh yeah belongs to the uh, to the, what do they call it? The basement. Okay. All right. Nice. Very nice. All right. Let's get this out of the way. This is a box of what looks like a bunch of buildings. A lot of, excuse me, a lot of buildings. A lot of little buildings. Uh, signal towers. Woo, man. This has a lot of little. Uh, a Revell chicken coop. Didn't know they had a chicken coop for someone to build. But apparently, uh, there's the building for the chicken coop with no chickens. I guess you gotta incubate a couple eggs and then you're all set with your chickens. All right, and then track assortment. What else do we get here? This is an after and empty box. More little buildings. More little buildings. This is a freight station. Here's a flat car. Here's part of this thing, I would think. 
somehow this goes to this somehow we got to figure this one out I don't know it runs alongside this building maybe somehow somehow it goes like this actually like this there you go it goes somehow like that all right we could glue it back together here's an old model t and uh just some more flat cars something for this station i would think belongs to that station there signs always good to have signs yeah what is this this is uh something from a kit circus some kind of circus cart this is a fireman so this must go to that house it's on fire here is a garage by Ravel this is man this is like 50s or 60s at the most this is not 1970 there's the building for a garage it's got the it's got all the stuff in there the roof there sides are there shouldn't take too long to build this stuff and weather it this here, I don't know what this is, some kind of brass piece for something. For maybe a, an older train. This here is an old pie Pacific Intermount Intermountain Express trailer. No wheels. I'm sure, the wheels are here somewhere. There's a water tower. Telephone poles. More. Oh, here's the truck. Here's the truck for that trailer. What's in here? A fire truck. Oh, this must be part of that, that other deal. It's a fire truck. Got a fire truck in there. I got cows. I've got... Might be an outhouse. Might be a little shack. No, no. This is an explosive shack, not an outhouse. This one must be a signalman's shack. It's got too many windows for an outhouse. Um, the rest that's in here, some kind of stairwell for maybe this guy over here. Here's some more. Oh, these are like, these are O scale piggyback trailers from Santa Fe. Some of them have wheels, some of them don't have wheels. What's this? Oh, it's just crack stuff, crack stuff. Uh, a couple of little trailers. I guess for the flat car. Here's part of that Model T. Oh, it's like a fireman. Okay. So that fireman goes there. Here's, some, here's another little shack. Which one's this one here? Front street, elevation, something. Must be some kind of weight station. Passenger station, maybe. Uh, and little trinkets in this box. Some more track trinkets. Some more stairwells. Okay. All right. We're done with that box. Let's take a look again. Here's a, a girder. A culvert. Here's some culverts, here's a girder bridge, here's part of a pier, uh, track, uh, here's the top of this signal, uh, this water tower, which is awesome because now we can put that whole thing in there and we're going to be good to go. All right, so the rest is little trinkets in there, but basically this box had all these goodies right here. So. That's awesome. Okay. Down to the next box. Okay. Now let me show you this. This is an Athern Trains set. And this came from that estate sale again. Now, look at what we have here. A flat trailer on a, and a boat on it. A Lind 
refrigerator car, a Baltimore and Ohio caboose, and a caddy uh, cattle car. There's nothing in here. But I'm wondering what is it? See, this, this box is so old, it's just falling apart. This stuff has not been sitting for years. Years! This has to be from the 60s. Oh. And we have an Athern Santa Fe F7. I do not know if this one is running or not. We're going to have to test it. But I can tell you right now. I can tell you right now that this thing is going to have to be seriously cleaned because the wheels are completely blackened in oxidation. Mm. So we're going to have to clean it. That's okay. But this is a real nice set that has pretty much been kept intact this whole time and this box is just really fragile but really cool that this box right here kind of survived you could tape it up fix it up nice all right next okay for the next box uh, we're gonna have an ahm burlington northern boxcar can't have enough of those that's a good one. A another refrigerator from Farmers Cooperative Creamery. Never heard of those guys, but it's also an AHM. Nice. Telephone poles again. An Atlas HO scale modern home. Let's see if it's all in there. Oh yeah. Good luck trying to build this one. It's got a lot of stuff in it. Actually, they're not hard to put together. You just got to spend the time. Let's see. This is an opera house. An 1890 opera house from Real Like Models. Oh, man. This is a, it's like a cardboard slash uh, wood. That's going to be interesting to put together. Thank you very much. A modern church from Atlas, and it is there. Looks like it's sealed. Just the box has had good beating, but it's sealed. Here's another building kit. Man, I got a lot, a lot of building kits in this one. This one is just like, a, what is this? Oh, this is a burlesque home, uh, house or burlesque bar or something you also have to build it out of wood out of cardboard but apparently if this was a burlesque um house building like foghorn lake one would say that's going to be more fun than a mouse in a burlesque show all right, let's see. What else is this? Let's see. This one here is a flag stop station. I'm curious if the... Oh, yeah, it's right here. Oh, this is one of the ones that I already built. So I must have that in that other box. These are just the extra pieces. Yes, we do have this one already built. Nice. And this is the freight station. We have this one built. So these are extra pieces in there what is this perma scene from the 60s used for perma scene it says sensational easy to use modeling compound okay uh create hills valleys tunnels mountains I'm thinking, is this like plaster? Permacene. We'll have to do a little research on it. But uh, when they bought it back at uh, Playmart, 
for those of you who remember Playmart, and I don't, uh, it was only $1.30 for this. All right, let's see what else we got. This is a sealed AHM trackside construction kit, and this one happens to be the interlocking tower. Nice. Sealed. Wow. See how that goes when we put it together. Okay, we have American Flyer. It is a whistle control box. Woo! 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 Okay. Um, must send a signal to the track, up to the train. I don't know. We'll have to do a little research on on that. And let's see what this is. This is, oof, this is heavy. American Flyer Transformer. Well... It's not jammed. And, uh, yeah. This AC Gilbert Company. We have 15 volts and 7 to 15 volts. I'm going to do a little research on American Flyer because I am not familiar with this stuff. All right. Let me put this away and we'll get on to the next box. Okay. This one has a lot, a lot of stuff in it. Boy, this one, oh my goodness, this one just has a, wow, what the heck that is, what is this, looks like it's got a couple houses, uh, man, honestly, I don't know what's going on here, this looks like a pen, looks like a pen, Here's a house. Here's a partial house. Here's somebody's house. All beat up. Looks like a tornado hit it. And I don't know. This thing here looks like some kind of cattle thing. And I'm going to wildly guess to say this is an American Flyer accessory. That's what I'm going to say that is. What else is in here? What is this? Gallery Original Museum Production Series. What are these? Ah, Christmas lights. That has nothing to do with trains. Okay. Okay, some kind of Christmas light thing. How about this one? Picture craft. Oh. Railroad crossing signal. Railroad light with a bulb. And wires. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to have to make a fuss over that one. Okay. Man. Whew. Cigar boxes. Cigar boxes. Oh, some kind of house. A big house. And these metal army guys. A bunch of metal army guys. Okay. Army people, metal people, light bulbs. Okay. All right, let's see. More switches. Looks like American Flyer stuff. What else is in here? Man, more cigar boxes. Hey. More cows. Must be for this set right here. It's got to be. Army guys. Never seen these kind of army guys. Cows, army guys, telephone poles, and I'm sure this is the roof. See? Never throw away stuff from one box to another because you end up saying, well, I wonder where this piece is at. Well, guess what? 
this piece that belongs here was in here. This tops cigar box. Excellent. What else we got here? Man. Another house. The barn. It's a barn. Some of the steps are broken. But that's okay. Because we're going to make something out of this thing. We'll make it work. Okay. Cigar box. This is... I don't know what the heck this is. Man. Let me put this box down. Yeah, let me put that box down. This is American Flyer. Uh, yeah, these are American Flyer. Flat cars with their loads and more track, HO, more peers in this box. So, wow, these are totally different. I don't even know how these hook up. I have no idea how these hook up. Well, somehow, these hook up to each other. We just got to find out how. That's what YouTube's for. Okay. Got that going there. Very nice. Uh, brake wheel. Okay. Throw those on there. Whew. American fire. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see what else we got down here in this box. American Flyer. American Flyer train. There's another um, hopper. Here is a cattle car. That must belong to that set right there. And a caboose. We did get a locomotive, but we got a caboose. And, yeah, I don't know anything about American Flyer. This is a, this is a big haul. But they're in their original boxes. So, I'm just going to have to ask you guys, anybody knows anything about American Flyers? I don't know. Especially these type of couplers. Don't know how they work with each other. So, kind of mysterious. Kind of mysterious. I'm thinking that box is. Oh, moving inward. Oh, not that way. Okay. Okay, there it is. There it is. All right. Let's see what else is in this thing. And the last thing is grass from Lifelike. Original stuff. All right. Well, we're done with this box. Whew. The next box has American Flyer switches. Yes. Switches and track. In the original Falling Apart box. Here's another cigar box. What's it got? Nothing. Boathouse. Is it? Yep. There's a boathouse with a boat. What does this have? Parts. Lots of little parts. Oh. Now I'm finding the wheels for the trailer in the first box. And we have... These three tractors that belong to a flat car that we have probably in another box. So, all right, what else do we have? Ooh, a bunch of peers from Atlas, of course. 
and they have virtually not changed or they had not changed for years when they were selling these type of tears and this is uh some kind of well this is the rest of the part for those three buildings we saw in the first box uh, we have another transformer this one is from cox did you know that cox made trains i had no idea cox not only did they make the you control airplanes but they also had um wasn't so much you control cars but you would put a string from one end of the your street to a couple houses down and you'd you know you'd fire up that little cox 049 engine and the thing would just take off straight down the street but i did not know that cox also was into doing trains and i think there might be a story there with um they and maybe Tycho were involved in that endeavor. Uh, this one here says it's another barn group. Yeah, this is another barn. And it has, looks like it has everything, uh, including the cows. So, okay. Got a big, uh, what do they call those horses uh, that are... Uh, Budweiser horses are called Clydesdales. Yeah, the Clydesdale horse. Well, there's a Clydesdale horse in this set. Uh, let's see. Put that there. Put that there. And we're good to go. We'll keep these here. Okay. All right. Next box. Oof, we're almost done. And I'm kind of glad because, man, I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired of this one. But here we have a lot of HO tanks, cabooses, and we have... Hoppers, box cars, and we'll do them like that. Look at that. man, that's quite a bit. Flat car, look at these flat cars. Look at these flat cars. I think these guys go somewhere along there like that. An armor, some of these I already have, some of them I don't have. Some in this color I don't have. Uh, Mantua. This is from the 60s. Mantua. Free Tyco. Or, yeah, Free Tyco. And this is really nice. This is also from Tyco. I could use this one for my steam engine. Uh, another box car there. Some kind of weird crane. This is not Tyco. This is. Maybe AHM. I'm suspecting AHM. Another caddy um, paddle car in brown. Another caboose. Gondola. Box car. Box car. Paddle car. Let's see. This is a. Uh, Ham's beer. Remember Ham's beer? Ooh, that's going way back. Not a Tyco, but nonetheless, it's a Ham's beer car. This is a dummy, a Burlington dummy. Uh, don't know where it's from, but guess what? I don't really care for this, but I am going to snag the trucks off of this and use them. Or another uh, Pennsylvania um, dummy that I have there. And there's another. There's another caboose, Santa Fe. Another flat car. This is a drink, old Heidelberg. 
Anybody remember drinking that beer? I mean, not me, but you, know, you guys are out there that remember that beer. Blatz from Milwaukee. Let me know. Oh, this is a flat car for these guys. Because each one of these guys goes here like so. Just like so. There you go. Now that's what that's supposed to look like. Another Union Pacific gondola. And a Minneapolis the Peoria Gateway boxcar. It's nice. I don't know who makes this one. Could be Lifelike. Could be Bachman. Might be a Bachman. This here is another flat car from Great Northern. This, look at this. I've never seen something like this. Don't know. I have to do a little research on what type of crane this is because it's interesting. It's definitely interesting. Here's the thing that hangs down. Look, it's it, it's really nice. It's a nice piece. I could uh haul this around with a switcher. Kind of liking it. Uh, here's a Pennsylvania dummy, and here's another Pennsylvania dummy. So I'll have to switch these um, to switch these couplers. If I want to make something out of it. But yeah, a couple dummies there. All right. Okay. And that wraps it up. Let's see. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So 33 cars plus the um, other seven that are American Flyers. So there was a lot of box cars out here today. And uh, pretty good. Pretty good haul. All right, folks, that's all I got, and uh, I will try to do another video later on this week. Have a good one. Oh, in fact, yes, I will be doing one. I got a couple things on eBay that, uh, that I got. And so these are some of my last um, uh, unboxings because I'm ready to just start running trains. Enough of the unboxings. Let's see some trains run. Let's see some train sets put together and then run them. So, okay. Catch you later. Bye.